this is Polonia tomentosa, the princess tree, sometimes called the empress tree, sometimes called the, uh, the, the, the uh, princess, uh, the, the princess flower, or just Polonia. Uh, it is not a native, it's an exotic plant. It's named after Anna Pavlona, or Anna Polona, um, a Russian royalty. And uh, it was named in her honor. And it is a beautiful plant, uh, very fragrant, uh, fast growing. Um, that's the reason it was brought over. But unfortunately, it's a terrible invasive. It can grow eight, some people say even up to 15 feet in a single season. And so uh, it quickly overwhelms everything. Um, these these the tubular flowers do provide nectar sources and later on you can see how it produces these pods. Um, the pods used to contain tiny little seeds which float very freely. They used to be used even for um, for stuffing, for uh, stuffing containers and so forth for packaging. But, uh, but this tree can so quickly grow that in new areas it can, it can overwhelm uh, native plants, especially in meadows. And the huge leaves, again these heart-shaped leaves can get so much bigger. Um, they end up being something that uh, can shade out a lot of our native trees. So yes, a pretty tree, very valuable in Asia where the wood on this tree has been used uh, for all sorts of different kinds of cultural aspects, including wedding dowries. Um, but unfortunately, a nasty invasive that needs to be controlled and not allowed to grow in, our, in, uh, in this country. So this is the, again, the Polonia princess tree, empress tree. This close up of its beautiful flower. You can see its leaves down below, heart shaped. These aren't even half grown yet. And over here, you can make out the pods. But what you can't see, of course, is that this particular tree uh, can cause environmental havoc. It is an invasive species that needs to be restored.